say, Lord, remember me. And I got you got somebody on the side saying, Lord, remember me. You may be seated in the presence of God. Lord, remember me. Oh my God. Remember me, Lord, for my stewardship. Remember me, Lord, oh my God, even when I strayed. God, remember me. We start in the book of James, the brother of Jesus. How many realize that James uh, was a powerful chapter that we're reading in? Verse, it starts in verse 4, uh, verse 1 of chapter 4, about wars within. How many realize the greatest fight is not that fight that's without the body, but it's that fight that is within the body? How many know he tells us what's come as wars, what's come as rumors? Don't they come from the inside and work out? My God. So we begin to just teaching here. He tells us, particularly in the very good verse, the verse that God gave me years ago. He told me to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. My God. Anybody ever ask God, God, please lift me up. Woo! Anybody ever needed a pickup? Oh my God, in here, just need God to pick you up when you can't carry your own self. When your circumstances got you overwhelmed, sometimes you just need God. Lord, I just need you to help me. Woo! Lord, I, I'm not being good today. I just need you to help me. I need you to pick me up because I'm going through what I'm going through. I mean, you know, these verses means that Christians should humble themselves in the presence of the Lord. And he will exalt them. When you humble yourself in God's presence, how many know it is God who picked you up? How many know when men exalt themselves, the Bible tells me they shall be brought low. They shall be abased. But when you humble yourself, and God will pick you up. My God in here. Every once in a while, we just need a word, a pickup. Oh my God in here. Not no goodness of your own, nothing. Oh my God, that you can really imagine. But how you know? But every once in a while, God is the lifter of my head. Oh, he need, we just need a pickup. The first is part of a section that warn the Christian, the saints against acting like the world. How many know that's not a success formula to act like the world? How many know we can't do what the world does? We can't respond like the world responds. Uh, we can't live like the world lives. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, live like you say. So he tells me in this, he says it warns against acting like the world. How many know you can act a lot as well as tell one? We're doing all right. Fighting and quarreling because of their selfish desires. Woo! How many know flesh will teach? Flesh will preach. Flesh will direct the choir. How my God so caught up in flesh and selfish. The third part of James 14. This verse teaches that God, grace, and favor are available to those who submit to him. How many realize it's available for you? Oh my God, you got to humble yourself. We're not strong enough. We don't, we're not smart enough to muscle this thing out. How many know the devil that we fight against is a formidable foe? We're no match for it on our own. He will sift us as we. But thank God for God's grace. Uh, thank God for God's mercy. Thank God because God loved us enough that we ain't always been saved since we've been saved. Thank you, God. I'm going to preach by myself in here. Oh my God, in here, the fourth point of verse 10 says, this verse is called, it's a call to humility. Have you ever taken a good look and see that you didn't wake yourself up this morning? Right. Woo! The things you have are the cause of God's grace and God's mercy. Yeah. Men are servants and not owners. Yeah. Woo! We don't own anything. Oh my God, in here, because it's in Him that we move and have our being. I mean, no, we need to learn how to give God some praise. Oh, my God, we have gotten too lifted up in our abilities and our strength. Oh, my God, we can't muscle this thing out. Oh, my God, in here, do you realize, know that God is in control of your life? Oh, my God, every good thing that I have, it comes from the Lord. Oh, my God, everything that I've been through is not because of my ability, my strength, my schooling, but it's because of God's grace. Ah, tell your neighbor, you better humble yourself. 
Oh my God, you notice that in the text, I'm not telling you to let God humble you. You own family, but you got to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and, and He will lift you up. Oh my God, this verse is a call to humility, submission to God. How I many know it's time to go back to God? Woo! It's a time to go back to what's right in holiness. It encourages believers to recognize their own limitation. How I many realize that we're limited in our process? Woo! There's only certain things that we can do. I ain't going to find no help in here. Uh, there are certain things. How I many know men's extremity is God's opportunity? If it was up to us, oh my God, the world will be in a terrible place. But thank God for God's grace. How I many realize sometimes you don't even feel it? I, I know sometimes you don't feel like moving, you don't feel like, but somebody just mentioned the name Jesus. And your hands swings up. I mean, you know, because we're limited in it. We don't figure it out. We don't understand why this, that, and the other. But how many know God will make it picture pure? Woo! Why you're dealing with what you're dealing with. Did he use some things seem like oxymoronic statement? He says, why? We are troubled on every side, but yet not distressed. The paradox statement in that is telling me that it appears to be how in the world can I have all this I'm going through and still be good for me. Yeah. It was good for me that I had been afflicted. Yeah. Oh my God, in the affliction, I learned something that I can't do it by myself. Yeah. I learned that I have to have God on my side. Oh my God, I'd be a madman, a crazy somebody. Oh my God, the stuff that attacks us daily will take me under. But thank God for my mind. Woo! Oh my God, God is so good to us. I mean, oh, we're so limited. Oh my God, we have our own limitations. This encourages the believers to recognize. You got to recognize that I'm weak. The Bible says that the weak declare that I'm strong. The weaknesses of our life. I mean, that's a certain thing we can do. Oh my God, we can't regulate the breath that flows in our body. Woo! How I many realize that God gives us enough, oh my God, that we don't go crazy and we don't die. Too much air kill you and not enough air. I ain't gonna fight no anything. I'll make you cray, you cray cray as my little grandmother's gonna say. How I many realize that you got to understand that we're limited? We have weaknesses. And to trust in God's power, grace to lift them up. I need God every day. Every, day. Woo! every moment, every second of the hour to lift me up. Because why? My decisions ain't always the right one. But I got to thank God for forgiveness. I got to thank God for strength. Because sometimes I want to get for God Almighty, but the Holy Ghost will sit on you and let you know you can't act like that. You representing the kingdom. Grandmama them used to say, Mama, look back in the day when I was real young. They said, baby, when you go out there, you better act like you have some training. Yeah. Don't bring shame to the name. Ooh, I wonder in this generation, the time we're living in, do we care about bringing shame? We're saying we're born again, but we acting and doing what the world is doing. Oh, God Almighty, here it's time to recognize. Humble yourself. Come off your high horse. I mean, realize that you're not even wearing your own hair now. And you think you got it going on. Oh, my God, you got to buy you some. You got fake nails on. You got all these things trying to stay young. I mean, over time, is coming. Oh, my God, this old building that I'm living in is just temporary house. Just keep saying good morning. I want to know, Brother Bo, what do they mean by keep saying? Sometimes good morning means, oh, I got to warm some stuff up before I can stand up. You get aches and pains that you didn't even know you had. Oh, God, tell your neighbor I'm limited. Oh, my God, but this verse is encouraging me trusting God's power and grace to what? Lift us up. How many want to be lifted up this morning? It encouraged me, my last point. On James 4 and 10, it encouraged believers to put their trust in God rather than their own abilities or achievements. Yeah. Woo! How I many realize it don't matter how many degrees you got on the wall, how many trophies you have in your trophy case. Woo! My God in here, how I many know it won't save you, it won't feed you, it won't take care of you, but you have to know it's God who gives you the strength. 
Oh my God, he deserves a praise. Oh my God, how many realize that? Oh my God, he said it's filthy rags in my sight. I love Brother Paul's dissertation of this particular text. Brother Paul says, oh my God, I count it as a loss that I may know him. Look at your neighbors and neighbor, success, God's way. Woo! How many know you want to be successful? You got to be humble. God blesses the humble. My God, if you want to go higher, go low. Yeah, oh my God, that's the way you're going to go. I mean, you, know, you can't be pride and arrogant because God hates a proud look. Oh, God hates a lying tongue. Ooh, my God, in here, you're so full of yourself, you can't even shout because you're too pretty. Oh, God, I'm out of here. You got to learn how to ugly that face up. Oh, my God, if your hair get messed up, I'm messing with y'all weeks. Old. I mean, you, know, you, gotta buy, you can buy your song if you don't like where you're looking. It encourages believers to put their trust in God rather than their own abilities or achievement. And to seek his guidance and strength in all things. How many know in everything I need God? Oh my God, how many realize James 14 portrays Samson really well? How many know Samson wasn't a 225 pound heat man? But Samson was just a little really ruddy looking guy. Five foot eight, oh my God, 135 pound soaking wet. So when they kept asking him, Samson, where do you get your strength from? Woo! How many realize he lived in any kind of way? How many realize that we have a tendency? Come on, can I have a man in here? Strong men have a tendency to go beyond boundaries. Woo! We like to play outside the line. Ain't gonna fight no hip in here. I got some proof for you. The speed limit says 55, you gonna drive 65. Oh, uh, it's 75 on I 30, but there ain't nobody driving 70. Ain't gonna fight no hip in here. How many of we try to push it? How many of your children will play you? I ain't gonna fight no hip in here. They wanna see how far all oh, my they can go before you respond. But how many of us strong men have a tendency, oh my God, of going beyond your boundary? I mean, oh, Samson, I know we begin to celebrate Samson, but Samson was a mess. Woo! He did everything outside of God's will. But how many of he got so used to just shaking it off and being able to accomplish great things? But he didn't realize it wasn't his own ability, but it was God that was doing it for him. They ain't gonna fight no hip in here. I mean, oh, they told him not to eat nothing dead. But don't do these things because you are a, a Nazarite. You should be dedicated to God. It was God who gave you the strength that you have. What did Samson say? He told him not go down there and mess with the women. How I many know Samson went down there and mess with the women anyway? Oh my God. How I many know he killed a lion? Oh my God. He ate honey from a dead carcass. Then brought it back to his mom and daddy. Don't even know they're being defiled. How I many know Samson is just like your bad boy? Woo! Samson was always in something, doing something. Always, always, nobody can tell him nothing. How I many know it is not just the generation that we're living in, unthankful, unholy, disobedient to parents? Oh God, how I many know Samson? Oh my God, could tell him nothing. But how many know what the devil got a trick for you? Yeah. Woo! How many realize Samson loving many women? Oh my God, doing many things. They said the Philistine be upon you. Yeah. Samson get out there, he kills them all. How many realize that? But he found a woman. How many realize they set her up? Oh my God, to be a trap. Yeah. How many know you got to watch out for Delilah? Amen. Ain't gonna find no help in here. How many know that Samson got caught up in Delilah? They set him up. They said, go ahead and find out where his strength is. Oh, my God. Because why? I told you early, five foot eight, 135 pounds, and able to do extra things. How they know this man, because if he was big and he man, they would look at his biceps and triceps and say, where his strength is. But they said, where is his strength? So he, I mean, no, he, she went into it. How they began to have a relationship one with another. She said, baby, what your strength at? He lied to her. Then she called the Philistines in and he killed him. Now the brother must have been crazy. I mean, real life because she kept calling folks to kill him. Woo! But he kept playing with her. 
telling your name, you got to watch who you're playing with. Oh God, you got to watch who you're hooking up with. Oh my God, in here. Brother David, I mean, Brother uh, Samson kept on with this. Oh my God, he kept playing with Delilah. But the Bible says in our text this morning, verse 16, oh my God, and it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words. She urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death. How I many realize a woman know how to give to a man? Y'all got holy quiet. I'm going to talk over to the grown folks here. Yeah. How I many realize a woman was made for a man? Was she there? How I many realize the way she walked? The way she talk, uh, the way she whispers, oh my God, her voice, oh my God in here, get a man pretty excited. Can I teach it him? But how many realize that Brother Samson said, I can do it, I can handle it, I'm strong. But how many know, tell your neighbor, you better watch, oh my God, no, no, you got to watch somebody. I ain't gonna say it like that, Sister Risa. But how many realize when she began to press him daily, the Bible reads, he says, he opened up his heart to her. Yeah. Ooh, tell your neighbor you got to watch when it's a heart matter. Yeah. Uh, he been playing with playing with her mind, but now she didn't touch his heart. Yeah. And how many know the narrative is about to change? Yeah. My God in here. So he tells her he opens his heart to her. And, she, and then he began to tell everything. Woo! He shared how oh my God where his strength was. He said, I am my Nazarite, meaning never a razor has been on my head. Yeah. My God in here. Nobody ever cut my hair. How I many know I got seven locks? If you cut my hair, then my strength will be gone. Yeah. And I will be just like any other man. How I many realize if you walk away from God and God's spirit leaves you, yeah. you just like any other ordinary man. But what makes you extraordinary is the power of God that's on the inside of you. My God in here. Can I preach in here? How many know? How many know? Tell your neighbor. He lost his connection with God. How I many know you can lose a lot of things, but you don't want to lose your connection with God? Yeah. Oh my God, he, I mean, you can't pray no more. Woo, my God here, you can't walk victorious no more. Yeah. I mean, oh, the devil has stripped you of all your strength. Yeah. And my teacher don't write it here. Yeah. How I many know that Brother Samson shared his self? Oh my God, he laid too long and played too long on the devil's territory. Yeah. Tell your neighbor you got to watch Patty Kane with the devil. Yeah. How many know seeing or take your farther than you want to go? Yeah. Keep you longer than you want to stay. Yeah. And make you pay more than you want to pay. Yeah. You better come out from the world and be in separate. Share the Lord. You can't hang with a dog. You end up scratching with fleas. You got to watch. his connection with God. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, this joy I have, this peace I have, the world didn't give it to me. Don't take the joy away from me. Don't take the power away from me. Don't take my spiritual eyes from me. Say, yeah, yeah. So what happens in the text? He shared everything. He shared his life. You gotta watch your circle of friends. You gotta watch who you sharing your dreams, your aspiration with. Because everybody that's hugging you is not your friend. Everybody that's hanging with you is not your friend. You gotta watch the friend enemies. You gotta watch the haters in the sky. You gotta watch the talking behind your back and carrying you in your face. Shared his connection. I mean, oh, to lose everything, but to lose God, to lose your connection, meaning I can't talk to God no more. I can't pray no more. Say yeah. But a whole lot of people, just like Brother Samson, they think they can do what they want to do Monday through Saturday. But Sunday morning, they play in church. Sunday morning, they quit in the head. The devil don't care. 
But you doing the quick, the devil don't care. But you waving your hand, say yeah. So come, uh, tell your neighbor, Brother Santa laid his head in the wrong of a glass. He should have had an apple, but he woke up with a cruiser. Say yeah. She cut off his hair, say yeah. And Brother Samson, in the midnight hour, she hollered something. She said, Samson, the Philistine upon you. Brother Samson said, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to go to church, give a testimony. I'm going to pay my tithes and my offering, and I'm going to be all right. But this time, Brother Samson, we got up like he always done. But when he shook, I didn't mean, realize the shaking was gone. There's a whole lot of shaking going on in church. There's a whole lot of praying going on in church. There's a whole lot of preaching going on in church. But how I many know you can have the shake, but the shaker is gone. Why is the power? Why will the walk right? Why is the power? Why will the live right? Why is the power that cast out devil? Why is the power that heal the sick? Where is the power? Yeah! Tell your neighbor, you can shake all day, you can shake all night, but where is the power? Say yeah! I don't know the music in your life, the gorilla will shake. When the music in your life, the snake will shake. I mean, know you need the power? Say yeah! Say yeah! yeah. Brother Samson realized that he's been tricked. He got up, no hair on his head, the Philistine, say yeah. I want to remind you the first thing that the devil done, right your back right. What does the devil do? He put your eyes out. I mean, oh, the first thing when they got that, they put our sense of eyes. You can't see nobody right in church. You don't want to fall. Fellowship with nobody. The devil put your eyes out. You don't backslide overnight. It's a process. It's a long journey. Nobody can pray for you. You know everything. Tell your neighbor you're blind. With 2020, hallelujah. A whole lot of people I know, they do it what I'm doing. But I shot out to tell you that God always has a remedy. Even that 
for this hat to keep growing your head. No matter how low you fell, I mean that your hat will keep on growing. If you keep on reading, say yeah, yeah. He said, how big the hair of his head begin to grow again after it was shaven. I mean, no, you might not have a locker, but you might have a fuzz. But I mean, oh, a little faith, a little power. Oh, God. I mean, in your eyes, he had a little, his hair begin to grow. Yeah, I lay my head. Yeah, I got a hat cut, but my hair is growing. Tell you that without a piece of hair today, my hair is growing. I've been weak. I've been in the storm, I've been low, I have always been faithful, but guess what? I stopped by on the third day of September 2023 because my hair is going. I don't get my brain back, I don't get my joy back, I don't get my strength back. No matter what the devil has done, no matter what the devil has said, today I'm coming up. Fifty 
first song, a beautiful song. What did David say? David said, Purge me with his son, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Create in me a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, take not the Holy Ghost from me. The Holy Ghost will lead you. The Holy Ghost will guide you. The Holy Ghost will keep you. Say yeah. Come on and help me now. I mean, Lord, it's our day of restoration. It's our time to be restored. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation upon me with thy free spirit. Say yeah, I'm out of here. Tell your neighbor, Lord, remember me. I mean, no God will pick you up if he have to reach way down. Is there anybody in the hope this morning? Know that God did everything that happened to me that was good. God did it, and I mean, he's done it before. He'll do it again. Tell your neighbor, make me over again. Take me down to the potter's house. I want to go back. Lord, wash me again. Lord, renew me again. Get my strength back. Get my joy back. Get my hunger back. Get my love back. Get my peace back. Get my joy back. I haven't shouted in a minute. I have said hallelujah in a minute. I want my hallelujah. I want my praise. Oh God, I got a jump in me. Say yes. Come on and holler. Say neighbor. I got a jump in me. Jesus, understand my pain. Jesus, understand my pressure. With no music on. No, I'm praising him with my broke self. No, I'm praising him with my sick self. But I'm okay, nobody do me like him. Ain't nobody turn me around. Ain't nobody.